Hey everybody, welcome to the Best Family Homestead. I'm Aaron. So, I did a video earlier on rescuing our December tomato. We'll keep an eye on it every day, taking some video of it so we can watch it grow and produce the tomatoes. And uh, about two or three days ago, I uh, saw something coming up. Didn't really pay attention, it was about right here. Uh, and it's gotten that big fast. I'm, Realize that wasn't a tomato. Like what in the heck is going on here? Then I remembered something someone said to me and I think I solved the mystery. Aiden! Coming! Stand right there. Do you know anything about this? No. Yes. No. Yes, yes you do. No, I don't. So why, why, don't, why don't you explain what that is? Well, it's it's a potato, and it was growing over in the corner of the room on the floor, so I saved it. <laughs> you saved it? Why did you save that potato? <laughs> because it was on the floor, and it was lonely. Why did you put it in with a tomato plant? Because the tomato looked lonely. <laughs> you can see it runs in the family, everyone. But I'm pretty sure I said something about not putting it in with a tomato plant. I don't remember that. Oh, no? No. Okay. So what we're going to do, <laughs> because what the problem is is potato, one, the potato won't do very well because it's going to make a lot of other potatoes and it'll start to choke out the tomato. <clears throat> so we're going to get some good sandy soil from uh, the old bird farm and a five gallon bucket and rescue the rescue tomato from the rescue potato. It was lonely. All right guys, so we're over here at the old bird farm and uh, I'm gonna get some of this really good black dirt here uh, for the rescue potato. <coughs> now, Robert's busy inside and normally he had helped me shoot, no, a video from over here, he's over there. However, he made the comment laughingly when I told him I need some dirt he's like oh yeah when you when you're not looking I'm going to uh throw some wisteria seeds in there oh hey Robert so while he's inside I'm getting my dirt and I'm being real careful to not get any wisteria roots and then I'm going to go through all this dirt when I get home and make sure that there's no roots or seed. Even though it is just one in a five gallon bucket. So, if... Hey, what you doing there, buddy? I'm just filling in some holes in these low spots here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it looks like you should be doing that to me. Yeah, well, just taking some high spots and yeah. filling in low spots. Yeah. What you doing with the bucket? No, I know what you're doing. You're some sweet potato dirt. That's cool. Rescue potato. Rescue potato. You got enough there? Yes. Right. You need a real shovel. Yeah, sorry. I can't do for you. I'll take over from it now if you want. Yeah. All right. Did you get that closet thing cleaned out? I got the closet to the point that I'm going to clean it out today. So, here. I'll grab that. We can go. I got. We can go throw this in the back of my new truck. All right. We'll throw it in the back of my truck. <laughs> Just so you know, if any wisteria seeds mag or wisteria plants magically appear in here when I'm walking around here the rest of the day, yeah, uh, they will magically make their way to be replanted. Oh, wow, that's terrible, isn't it? That yeah, is terrible. Turn about fair play. Yeah, true enough. All right, we'll go. Cool. You wanna? Um, I'm gonna go lock up. Let's go. All right, lock up. I'll be right there. Mm. You go ahead. I'm gonna get something out of the truck. Remember, whatever gets whatever gets planted comes back. I'm gonna get something out of the truck here. Well, uh, let's see. Left thing. In here somewhere. Uh, uh, I got it. You good? Just keep. All right. Now that he's gone. 
this right here, a mysterious seed pod. And he said he was gonna find it beforehand. I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's get that all nice and buried in there. There we go. All right, guys, I appreciate you tuning in to the Best Family Homestead, home of the new growth wisteria. What? Nothing? Go ahead. All right, everybody. So, went to the farm, got our uh, good dirt from Robert. And he trying to be cute. You, you guys saw. He decided, uh, I knew what he was doing. And he knew, he knew I was going to look really, really well. Uh, so he uh, did put a stupid wisteria pod in here and some seeds. So as I go through and mix up my, uh, as I go through and mix up the dirt for the rescue potato, we'll be looking real close and I will be repaying the favor. Now he thought I was kidding. When I told him, like, I know you put a seed in there. And he's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm bringing it back. He's like, oh, no, man, I know you wouldn't do that. No, I would. So this is also going to be getting planted with the rescue potato right at the top. Uh, and then transplanted into a pretty flower pot. All right, so the very first thing that you're going to need to do um, when you start planting your potatoes, drill holes in the bottom of your bucket, no matter what size bucket it is. Uh, you can also use a, a cloth bucket, like a like you use for a clothes hamper. Those actually work pretty well because they drain too. Potatoes can't be kept too wet. Uh, if they're kept too wet, they will rot. Their their roots will rot, and they will not make many, if any, potatoes. Uh, this is good, rich black dirt uh, from the uh, old bird farm. Not as sandy as I wanted it to be. But this is a way we can overcome the sandiness. Give me a second. This will this might take a second because I've got to go through here and make sure good old Robert didn't try to sneak a few more uh, wisteria buds in here. All right, so looks like we're in the clear. Uh, there are some little roots in here, but this uh, this dirt will be getting dumped out and put somewhere where I don't have to worry about it. Uh, like Dilbert Farm, just in case there is any leftover with cereal in here. So I'm starting with a potato that's uh, already about six inches high. What you want to do is you want to fill, fill your, initially fill your dirt up in your potato of about three or four inches. Uh, in the bucket and then because potatoes do like to be dry so much i'm worried that this um dirt right here will hold uh too much water so what i'm going to do is i want to take some hay in here and i'm going to mix a bunch of hay hey, i got a little too much there
All right, guys, so we got our uh, dirt all mixed up or sifted through. And then we took some, some of the hay and mixed our hay in. Mixed our hay in with our dirt. So now we have a good draining soil. So now we're gonna go in and uh, put rescue potato in here. I'm gonna show you guys how this whole process works. All right, so we're in here in the kitchen and you can see rescue potato there next to rescue tomato who's getting really big, by the way. So I'm gonna make a little hole. I'm not sure how big he is, but we're gonna make a little hole right here. Get ready to, to plant the, the potato. I'm not sure how deep Aiden put this thing. And I wanted him to be here when I did this, but he had to start back to school today. So, he, and he's got a swim meet tonight, so he will not be home till late. And we really need to uh, get the, uh, let's see what we got here. Obviously he did not know so this, this one seed here on this potato probably could have made, you could cut uh, this one potato seed, new potato, see where it's starting to sprout. That's why he was talking about growing. So he could have taken that, um, there we go. He could have taken this potato and cut it into a couple. And as long as there was one sprout on each one, and it would have done just fine. So we got him in here, covered up. Now you can see he's ar it's already up to this high. So if you're gonna start this process with a brand new seed potato, you plant your seed potato all the way under the dirt down here and then wait for it to start to grow like this. Once it gets up near the bottom of this bucket, you're gonna fill it up. Autumn we're gonna fill all this up we're just going to leave the little top of this, and that way it'll start to produce potatoes on up here as well uh, as, as it grows and give us another layer of potatoes. everybody so I showed you how to you do a pre-existing one I know I kind of skipped around the steps a little bit uh, playing with Robert's wisteria uh, so to start these to do this from scratch with potato seeds which uh, are the best you can go to the uh, a local hardware store or seed store and pick them up they already have you know they already have good eyes on them and the eyes are the little green things I showed you. So if one of them has a whole lot of eyes, just take and cut it in half or quarters. Um, and then once you have your potatoes cut up in quarters for a five gallon bucket, you're gonna drill holes in the bottom. Very, very important, first thing. Then you're gonna come up about four inches of soil initially, plant your potatoes, cover them completely up with dirt. Then once your potato starts to grow and it gets up to around here uh, you're going to cover it back up and only leave the little green part growing I uh, probably could add a little bit more dirt to this uh, might later one of the important things making sure and using a soil that will drain pretty effectively um, you can also add a little bit of 
fertilizer for me I, I don't use any kind of store-bought fertilizer I just get a little bit of chicken poop there's a little bit of chicken poop mixed up down here in the bottom if you don't have access to that you know you can use some quick time release you know 10 10 10 or some kind of nitrogen based uh, fertilizer right down in the bottom if you choose to uh, if you just use potting soil though potting soil will already have fertilizer in it once uh, once this is done now now we just wait on it to grow and it'll grow up and bush out and once the uh, tops start to wilt and turn yellow and uh, and then you know you know you know it's done when it when it just turns a nasty color about usually 70 90 days depending on the kind of seed I think some potatoes may take up to 120 days uh, but once the tops are all big and bushy and it flowers and then they fall over and die you know that you're ready to harvest and we will do that as soon as this thing's ready all right guys thanks for watching uh hope you enjoyed this episode make sure and like subscribe and share and we will be keeping an on the rescue potato and the rescue tomato for the next few months until we start to get something uh something to eat off of see you next time